Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be showing you how to back up and restore Minecraft worlds. Let's get into it. So, real quick before we get started, um, a few common reasons um, why you might want to um, create a backup is one, your world gets corrupt, uh, corrupted, and you don't want to have to restart your whole world over again. Um, so somehow your world got corrupted and you lost it and you don't want to have to restart. So then you can just reinstall your backup and boom, you can play again. Another reason would be if you died and lost all your stuff, um, that would also be a huge pain and you might not want to go through all that again. So then you can just restore your backup and boom, you've got all your stuff back. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice way um, to be sure that you don't lose anything. You can also have your backup to mess around and test stuff in before you actually bring it into your real world and different things like that. One last thing before we get started is that I'm doing this on Windows but this will be exactly the same on Mac. If I say Finder um, or Windows Explorer, those are the two um, like File Explorer and Win uh, Finder are where all your files are kept and everything. Um, so Finder would be for Mac, Windows would be File Explorer. So yeah, I might say either one because I'm used to both now. Um, but yeah, just <laughs> try not to get confused by me when I say that. So guys, we're going to start with how to back up a world. So here you see we've got our backups folder right over here. And here we've got our worlds folder here. So how we got those open is we went into single player, selected a random world, and let's say this one and then we hit open backups folder which open this one and then we hit open world folder um, so that actually once we hit open world folder it won't bring up this one it'll bring us into this folder right here and then we just have to click out and here's our worlds folder over here and here is our backups folder over here so if you want to find this you can go into um, your user or whatever then app data and then it would be roaming.minecraft and then saves same thing here except in backups okay so now if we want to create that backup we see our world here we can go into edit we can go into make backup and so now it's going to create the backup you see it started over here there backup completed it's right here so now if we want to bring this into our uh, minecraft because right now we can't play on it if we want to be able to play on it in minecraft what we have to go do is we click on this, it says testing world main, so that's the world right here. And we can't just drag it in, um, what we have to do is rename this one so that it doesn't um, copy any files. So we'll rename this one to, let's say, old. Okay, so now that one is renamed. So now what we can do is go into here and drag this folder right over into here. Now it's going to copy them over. There we go. And now we've got a new backup right here. So now if we go in, um, we'll go out and then go back into single player and we see we've got our other one right here. So this you can see the file name. So this one's testing world main old. And this one is testing world main. And so now this world is fully functional and an exact replica of this one right here. Okay, so now that we got the backing up out of the way, now I'm going to show you how to download worlds. And let's say you found a world that you want to download off of Planet Mine, or you found it in a YouTube description, um, some world download that was offered, and you downloaded it. Then it's going to show up in your downloads folder over here. So if you're looking for a world, like I just said, Planet Mine is a really good one. They have a lot of world downloads there. Um, YouTube videos, sometimes they have them in the description for like a tutorial or something. Um, but now we've got our downloads folder right here. So we downloaded a world, let's say, and it came up right over here. Uh, let's see, do I have... Um, right here. So let's say this one. This one I downloaded off Planet Mine a while ago. It's a really, really sweet world. So let's say I want to use this one. Then what I can do is I can just drag this right over into here. Or actually, if you see right here, we've got Atlantide. So what we have to do is rename this one. So let's say new. Oops. So now we've got Atlantide new. 
So now we can drag it over here and we've got it in our saves folder now. So now if we want we can close this or we can um, this won't be here for you. Um, this is just something I pinned but we can go into backups if we want to. Uh, we don't need to use this folder anymore. Um, now that we've got this one open though, so we've moved in the Atlantide and so now we can go into it and we see we've got MDC which is the world folder right in here. Okay so now that we can take this one and let's open up the saves folder over here. Um, if you were going to do it in a single uh, Windows Explorer, Finder, whatever, then you can just drag it from here oops, right into saves. I'm going to show you how to do it with two windows. Um, so then we can go into Minecraft, we can go into single player, we can hit edit, and we can do the open world folder again. So now we've got it right over here and we can go out into saves. So now we've got our two windows open again. So now what we can do is drag this one like that over into saves and so now it's going to copy it over. There we go and we see we've got the MDC right over here. So now if we go into Minecraft and we go out and we go back in, we need to find MDC, here it is. So this one right here is now our world so we can play on this one or whatever our newly downloaded world do whatever we want to on that and that is how you download worlds so guys that's how you install restore and back up your minecraft worlds if you have any questions you can join my discord i have the discord server link right up on the description or you can ask me in the comments and i'll help you either way it's a lot easier to help you in discord if you do have it so I highly recommend using that if you have any questions. Um, but otherwise, yep, the comments are a great place to ask. Um, but with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Any questions, Discord or the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Oh,